I'm Sushmita from Miss Pink Shoes and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here which is for Navratri. I'm really sorry I'm having it up a little late because I couldn't film it last week but I still wanted to do this. So this is a look that is really really versatile. You can basically wear it at any Indian festival. You can just ditch the dots around the eyes and on the chin and you can call it a day. So this look will work really well for different skin tones because golden and pink is something that complements almost every skin tone. And also the products that I've used in this video are something that will really last on your skin all night long. So when you're going for Navratri, you're obviously going to be dancing all night. So you want products that will last on your skin. So yeah, if you want to know how to get this festive look that lasts all night, then please keep on watching. To make sure that my makeup lasts all night long and that it does not move anywhere, I'm going to be using the Benefit Professional Primer. So I'm first applying it in dots all over my face using my fingers and then blending it out with the same. This is definitely the best primer that I've tried and it fills in my pores so well guys. Now to get that long lasting full coverage, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation because I can never go wrong with this one. And with my foundation today, I'm going to be mixing the Faces Ultime Pro Metallic Glow Highlighter. So I'm taking two full palms of this foundation and one palm of the highlighter and with my little finger I'm just gonna mix the two and now I'm just applying it in patches all over my face and now with my packed beauty blender which is damp right now I'm gonna start blending it all out So the reason why I picked this foundation is because it is one of the most long lasting foundations I've tried and that is because it's completely matte but since it's the festive season and I want to look a little glowy, I mix my highlighter so I'm going to have a long lasting foundation but with a bit of glow. So since I'm wearing a lot of jewellery, only that much of my neck is going to be visible so I'm applying makeup only until there. To conceal my under eyes, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I am in the shade N678 which is for medium to deep skin tones. So I'm just taking the applicator and applying it on my under eyes like this. And this is a very orangey concealer so it will really help in cutting all the darkness on my under eyes. So I don't like this concealers for my spots and any imperfections but if I have any pigmentation, darkness and my dark under eyes, this one works really well. I'm also taking it around my mouth because I do have some pigmentation there. To make sure that my base is set in place, I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Banana Powder. So first I'm taking it on my under eyes to bake them. And now in circular motions, I'm buffing it all over my face. And with the same brush, I'm going to sweep off my bake. I'm also buffing it down my neck. To contour today, I'm going to be using the NYX Matte Bronzer in the shade Deep Tan. So I'm taking a flat brush like this one for my cheeks. And first, I'm applying it like this in tapping motions. And I'm going to take a little on my sideburns also. And now, I'm going to start blending this out. Again, first tapping and now blending. Now with my little finger, I'm going to take the bronzer and go on the sides of my nose. And I'm going to blend it in really well. I'm also taking this on my forehead. And down my jawline. To fill in my brows, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Nudes palette. This palette is the best for my brows. The shades work so well. So I'm going to be mixing this dark brown color here and the black color right here. And in small strokes, I'm going to just start filling in my brows. Brows can really make or break your makeup look guys. And especially when you're doing Indian looks, well-defined brows can really change the way your makeup looks. For my eyes today, I'm going to be using my Morphe 35F palette. Guys, before I start with my eye makeup, look at this palette. It is one of the most beautiful palettes I own and if you're someone who's looking to invest into a palette, this one is the one to go for. I absolutely love this. So I'm going to be doing a really mild cut crease. It's not going to be a sharp cut crease. It's going to be a really, really soft one. So first, I'm going to be taking this dark brown shadow from my Maybelline Nudes palette and I'm going to start sketching out a fake crease. Now I'm not making it too high up and I'm going to be making it very very roughly. 
Now taking the black shadow from my Maybelline Nudes palette again, I'm gonna apply it over the brown that I applied to define it a little more. Now this is not the most pigmented black shadow but that's exactly why I'm using it because I don't want a very extreme cut crease. Now taking an empty precision brush, I'm gonna start blending that out. Now taking some more black shadow, I'm just gonna intensify that cut crease once more. Now taking this beautiful golden shadow on a flat brush, I'm going to apply it all over my lid and I'm going to make sure when I'm going near the crease, I'm going in a very defined line. So I define my crease a little but at the same time it's not too sharp. Taking the Lakme Absolute Shine Line Eyeliner, I'm gonna make a nice bold wing. So first I'm making a regular eyeliner. Then keeping my waterline as a reference, I'm gonna pull out a wing and join the tip of my wing to the existing eyeliner. So I'm just repeating the same on my other eye. So on my waterline, I'm gonna be using the Plum Nature Studio Kajal and apply a nice thick kajal. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow to set that kajal in. I'm using the Kaluba eyelash color to curl my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Lakme Absolute Flutter Secrets Dramatic Eyes Mascara. Now to add some color to my cheeks, I'm going to be using the Kaluba Cheek Illusion Blush in the shade Coral Bliss. So I'm just applying it in small circular strokes. This is one of my favorite blushes to use especially when I'm doing Indian looks because this really makes my cheeks look naturally blushed and it has the slightest bit of shimmer in it so it just makes my skin look illuminated. To highlight today I'm going to be using the Faces Ultime Pro Metallic Glow Highlighter and now with my ring finger I'm taking the smallest amount and first going on my cheekbones. And I'm just blending it out before it settles in. And now taking it on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my brow bone. For my lips, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Velvet Matte Lip Color in the shade Matte 1. To complete the look, I'm going to put on a bindi and drop three dots in a triangular manner on my chin and on the sides of my eyes. So with that, I complete this Navratri makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, the link is down below. You can also follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter to get regular updates from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.